All right, so on today's video, we're gonna be installing the Tusk rear brake guard and the Tusk grab handle onto this 2020 500 KTM XCFW. Uh, the install of the brake guard and the grab handle should pretty much work across the board for any Husqvarna, Gas Gas, KTM, 125 to 500, two stroke or four stroke. Um, it's all pretty much gonna be the same install. Uh, so let's get into it. Okay, so before we install the parts, let's just have a look at them here. Uh, this is the Tusk rear brake guard. Looks pretty cool, anodized orange, got that cool bling. And then there's the Tusk grab handle. Now when you get the Tusk grab handle, it's gonna come with one longer bolt and one shorter bolt, and then one longer spacer and one shorter spacer. The shorter bolt and spacer will go towards the front um, in this bolt hole, and then the longer bolt and spacer is gonna go in the back in this bolt hole. A um, Couple of the tools we're gonna to need, eight millimeter, uh, quarter inch ratchet, I got a, uh, screwdriver here, 3 8 with an 11, breaker bar with a 27, and then a torque wrench with a 27 so we can torque the uh, rear axle nut here. Uh, pretty important you torque that. It's 59 foot-pounds on the torque. Uh, the rest of the stuff you kind of go off fill. Um, I didn't really bother looking at the torque on these two bolts, but just the good old German spec, good and tight should do it. But the, the axle I'm pretty pretty prominent on getting that torque down properly and that's 59 foot pounds. Uh, so let's get into it here. All right, so the first thing we do is remove this bolt and this bolt. I've already got them out, they're right here. We're just gonna set those aside. Now we've got the two brackets. So the shorter one's gonna go in the front, the longer one's gonna go in the rear. Um, before you do that, you gotta get the, the bolt. You're gonna have to grab the bracket, slide the bolt through then get the spacer. So we'll have to do that on the rear too. So you've got the bolts, the grab handle, then the spacers. Shorter one in the front, longer one in the rear. And then we're just gonna have to put them in where the, the two muffler bolts are gonna go. So let's get this, we'll have to line it up. Now, uh, See if we can get them lined up. You don't want, you want to make sure you don't cross thread these things. All right, and then we can tighten them down. Wasn't too bad. Grab panel is pretty easy to install. You just take the bolts out that hold the muffler up and then you just put it in with these brackets. Literally, take you less than a minute to do it. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So there you go, uh, test grab handles installed. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the axle nut and then remove the axle and drop the wheel out. Now, I already broke this nut free, it shouldn't be that loose, but I did it uh, beforehand, so. Axle nut off, 27 millimeter, remove that. That's the chain adjuster. Remove the axle, uh, slide the wheel forward, drop the chain off, slide the rim and tire out. Set that aside. Now the next thing we're gonna do, um, I mean, you could either remove the bracket off the uh, swing arm, but I'm just gonna pull the pins, pull the pins in this, in this, uh, guide pin for the brake pads. We're gonna pull the brake pads out. Remove the brake pads, and then you can pull that bracket forward, and then we can pull the caliper right off this bracket. Now we're gonna take our 3 8 wrench and our 11 millimeter, and we're gonna remove this guide pin off the bracket, because we're gonna to have to transfer that over to the test bracket. 
Guide pin removed. We're gonna take this rubber bushing out and remove this. And then there's a shim for the brake pads. We just need to remove this off the old bracket. We're gonna transfer all this stuff over to the Tuss rear brake guard. Take the shim off. Uh, set the bracket aside. Now you've got your caliper. So we're gonna take the Tuss bracket. Uh, we have the guide pin. We just need to transfer that over. I'm gonna put a little Loctite on the threads here. We've got some Loctite. <clears throat> put this in. Take the bushing off the old bracket. Put it into the test brake guard. We're gonna put some of the silicone glide into that and onto there. That's for the guide pins to move freely. Uh, this little shim, you need to put that or install that here. Got to make sure you line it up properly. All right, so the shim's installed. We got the shim, got the guide pin, and then the bushing, and then your caliper. Your caliper is just gonna slide. So now I put some sill glide here for this pin. Still glide on this pin, make sure it's nice and properly lubed up. So we're going to install the caliper to the bracket. Caliper's on the bracket, and then we're just going to slide it back into place. Now make sure, now there's a bushing that comes with the test uh, brake guard. Just make sure you don't drop this or lose this. It's a brass bushing and that goes there and then the axle slides through it. So just make sure that's there and it doesn't fall out and roll off somewhere. Um, so now we've got the brake guard, we've got the guide pin switched over to the new bracket, we've got the uh, grommet, and we've got them all looped up. We've got the caliper key fly freely, so we're going to uh, reinstall the brake pads. Brake pads are now going to get reinstalled into the caliper. We've got the pin for the brake pads. And we're just gonna put a little sill glide on this too. It just helps with the uh, brake pads from sliding in or sticking or hanging up. So we're, we'll get the pin back through. The two little clips we took off earlier are gonna go in the uh, the little U shape is going to be facing towards the left. All right, so we got the clips installed. Um, I did this off camera, but I took my screwdriver and I put them between the brake pads and I pushed the pads out to push the piston back in the caliper. So when you put the wheel back in, it gives you a little bit more space to slide the brake quarter through there. So we're gonna take the wheel, slide it up in there, and it just, it makes it a little easier to get the, the rotor in between the brake pads if you push them back. So now we're gonna take our axle, which I already pre-lubed this. I put a little bit of sill glide on this. We're gonna Kind of helps if you got three hands, but we'll get the
All right, so you get the axle through. Slide it forward so we can get the chain back on. So now we've got both chain sliders back on. Tighten our axle bolt. Get the torque wrench. I've already got the torque wrench set to 59 foot pounds. And we'll make sure that we'll make sure the sliders are right up against the uh, adjusters. And then we'll just torque this down. There's the test grab handle, and then the test uh, rear brake guard. Looks pretty sick. Match that with the A service uh, clutch covers and stuff. Got the uh, A service uh, hand guards. These things, I mean, they're good against protecting your levers, but other than that, they're terrible. There's not enough coverage. Uh, branches and bushes they reach out and smack me in the hands all the time of those things but i've dropped it plenty of times as you can see looking at that brake lever is just fine that's the stock brake lever so they're good for that um but that's not what this video is about uh so there it is all right guys so this is about going to wrap it up for today's video uh test rear brake guard install um it's a cool little piece of bling to the bike I'm hoping though it's just bling and I never actually need it, um, but it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. I've never actually smashed a brake rotor while riding. Um, I drop my bike a lot. I mostly fall over. I don't really crash hard. I mostly just will go up, lose uh, traction, fall over or something. And I've never really had a brake rotor uh, bend on me, but it was just one of those things. It's, you know, kind of peace of mind. Uh, the Disc brake guards about 50 or 60 bucks. Um, just protect your investment, you know. Uh, Rocky Mountain, if you're watching this, uh, the rear brake guard's great. Would be great if you guys had a matching front brake guard. Uh, this is a KTM 500. Uh, everybody has one. They love them. Like, why don't you guys make a disc brake guard for the front? You know, a service, uh, enduro engineering. Um, even the Chinese manufacturers that sell on Amazon got front disc brake guards. Uh, be nice to see if I can get a matching test one for the front, but for now, uh, we'll roll with the back one. We got the grab handle. Um, probably gonna end up getting one for the front. Uh, between now and then, if Tusk comes out with one, great, I'll buy it. But for now, um, is what it is. Thanks uh, for watching. If you guys like this, uh, like, subscribe, comment. We'll see you in the next one.